the sport mode available in the watch. Let's talk about it. It's probably important in the sport watch, isn't it? Not all watches have a wide variety of activities pre-configured. And depending on what you want to do with your watch, it might be important to have that wide variety of sport available. If you do more than one sport, you can therefore pre-configure the data windows that you will see on each page of each activity. This is important because when you want to ride a bike, you want to know your speed, while when you run, you want to know your pace. And when you're ice skating, you certainly don't care about your vertical speed, while when you swim, the oxygen level is probably the last data you want to bother with. You probably don't want to activate your GPS when you're riding a stationary bike or connect your strike counter when you're doing weight training at the gym. At the speed you reach in alpine skiing, you want to have the most precise satellite precision, but when you go on a week-long expedition in the mountains, maybe you are ready to make some sacrifice so that your battery lasts longer. You see what I mean? Each activity has its own programmable things about what you want to connect, activate and see on the screen, in addition of giving you that nice little logo when you're looking at your activity calendar. Some watches have very little choice in terms of activities, others have more, and the best even goes so far as to make a difference between road bike, mountain bike, gravel bike, touring bike, cyclocross, electric bike, electric mountain bike, stationary, and even your commute. So just make sure the watch you choose can do all the sports you want or almost. If you just miss one or two that you do from time to time, it's not the end of the world either. For example, on my favorite watch, I don't have my famous rollerblade that I do two or three times a year. So on my watch for that kind of activity, I program myself and other. There is unfortunately one last point to talk about into that video, but hopefully we shouldn't have to talk about it anymore in few years. And it's the amount of sport available in the watch simultaneously. Simultaneously. Sim sim simultaneously. Sim Google? Simultaneously. Thank you. In the best case, everything is easy and we have a favorite sport menu and a menu for the other sports. But there are still some watches on the market where you have to make a choice from a list and it's those choices that will be available inside your watch until the next time you make some modification and resync it to your watch. Come on, memory costs almost nothing today. Just let me have all the sport available inside the watch without having to synchronize every time. This video was an extract of the most complete sport watch purchase guide on YouTube. If you want to see the full video, you can click just right here. And if you want to see the other extracts, you can click just right there. Otherwise, if you're ready to buy your own watch, you can follow my link in the description. And now would be the time to click somewhere. Like right now.